Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be making a video on <clears throat> um, how to care for a sagebrush lizard on feeding. Every time I record, there's going to be some noise. So the good food is... Sorry, so I had to go back inside because it's so loud. Hi Rocky. So the good food is ants. So they can eat fire ants and black ants, it doesn't matter. Make sure that you don't give them too much or if they have a lot of ants in their habitat, the ants can team up and attack the lizard, starting on by the eyes, which will hurt. So you should probably start off by one one or two ants and try to hand feed them. If not, try to um, probably put the lizard into a smaller container and put the ants inside of it. So then the ants is not crawling everywhere, making it harder. Next are beetles. Make sure you do research about that. I literally tried so hard trying to figure out what type of beetles they can eat and no one knows. So next is fruit flies. Very hard to catch though. You can use probably like a fish net, butterfly net, anything to catch them. You can also let like put a container and then put like a little fruit or some type of food inside the container and then basically wait for a fly to go in it and then put on a lid with no holes. Next are mites and ticks which you should probably avoid if you don't want them hurting your lizard. Next are bees, completely safe. You just want to take off their stinger. Um, if you see a bee on the floor and it's not flying away, that's a perfect bee because it is dying. Next are crickets. Try baby bit pin head crickets so it's easier for your baby lizard. Next are aphids, yellow aphids, black aphids, any type of aphids. You'll find them on garlic, milkweed, roses, and tons of other plants. Give them also uh, kale or other types of dark leafy greens. Next are bloodworms, mealworms, grapes, and um, try to take off some of the skin on the grapes. Pears, cut it to smaller pieces. Celery, you could use the leaves or the celery itself cut into a smaller piece, as well as carrots, apple, blueberry, and grapes. Cut them in smaller pieces for the babies. So tips on feeding is feed crickets, mealworms, or tropical, tropical fish flakes and kale with the actual food as better protein for your little lizard friend. Now these are for wild lizards. Don't give this to your a uh, pet lizard that you bought from a pet store or a breeder unless if you bought it from a pet store. These are only for wild animals. Don't feed your pet these things. Bad food is spiders. Oh, yeah, right, I forgot. So bad food is mites, ticks, spiders, centipedes, millipedes, scorpions, and fireflies. Because fireflies, the way they glow, they have this acid that helps them glow. Next is their so next is like pet lizards um, sometimes they may not eat so wild lizards they may not eat for a while until they feel comfortable eating because they only eat when they're comfortable so the first week you may end up having to waste food for the lizard. So that's going to be the end of the video. I hope I see you on my next video. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit that notification bell as well as share this video with your friends or family so you can help me out and I can make more videos just like this. My next video, make sure you watch. Um, little tip on caring. For a lizard is spray the habitat three times a day. Morning, middle of the day, and then end of the day. And this is really the end of the video. So, see you in my next video, and bye-bye.